first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so here in this revision class so we are going to revise the topic quantitative aptitude that is time and distance so already we have seen many revision classes pipes and distance time and work problems on ages simple interest compound interest as well as i am teaching questions that is related to the topic as well as I am giving the test also. So do not forget to watch all the revision class as well as in-depth solution videos on my playlist. Right. So now getting into the next topic that is time and the distance. So if you are preparing for only for the prelims exam, if you are first time, if you are preparing for the prelims exam or else you don't have that much of time like one month remaining for the exam now only i'm going to start preparation of quantitative aptitude so if you are like under the category then definitely i won't recommend to learn time and distance now why because if you already learn time and distance you can now revise it and you can start solving a question for the prelims but if you are first time learning for the bank exams for the prelims exam then you have only limited number of time in this limited number of time kindly do not learn time and distance why because time and distance is the uh, vast concepts right very huge topic because when you split the time and distance into a separate category like so first what what are all the questions that you can able to see in the topic time and distances first a normal based question like a cycle based question car bike and a person uh, running those kind of questions you can able to see in the time and distance one category of question and then second category of question is boats and the streams boats and streams is also comes in the time and distance concept so next will be problems on train problems on train and the last will be races uh, I've first let me talk about the main categories. So these are the main categories of question that you can able to see from the topic time and distance. So first you have to learn the basics of time and distance. We don't have much formulas here. Only one formula that we have speed equal to distance by time. Right? Only one formula. But most of the questions we have separate separate formulas right for, for solving a question that is based on a, a chasing concept so there we usually learn one formula and that question can be solved by a formula method or else by a normal method so in my youtube channel totally i have posted 14 videos right 14 videos on the topic time and distance so first i will tell you six videos on races right and then four videos on boats and steams and four videos on time and distance basics right? so totally i have posted 14 videos so if you already watched all the 14 videos then it's okay if you didn't watch all the 14 videos kindly watch it first first you have to watch the first four video on time and distance and then after learning it watch boats and streams after watching boats and streams watch the races right so or else you can watch this four video and then you can learn the races because all the concepts are based on the basics of time and distance and we have only one formula here that is speed equal to distance by time that's the reason i'm saying we have many concepts so if you are first time learning for the bank exam better in this one month learn other than this time and distance topic but if you are already preparing for bank exams for more than one year or two year then watch this video we can have a revision right so you know speed is equal to distance by time only one formula that we have when you take speed right so speed can be measured in two uh, thing one is kilometer per hour or meter per second so speed can be measured kilometer per hour or else meter per second so one second some meters or one hour some kilometers right? which is meaning of it for example 10 kilometer per hour that means for one hour the car speed will be 10 kilometer the total distance covered by the car is 10 kilometer for two hour 20 kilometer for three hour 30 kilometer that is the meaning of it right so and then if you take a speed conversion is most important so kilometer to meter 5 by 18 you have to multiply by this meter to kilometer 18 by 5 so these are the conversion that you have to know in the speed so speed usually you can able to see in only in this two uh, determinations one is kilometer per hour or else meter per second right and then when you take a distance so distance is mentioned either in kilometer or else in meter right so you should know how to convert the meter into kilometer and kilometer into meter that is easy right so thousand meters is equal to one kilometer 
and then time so when you take time right usually many students will make a mistake at one point that is if they have given us five four point five zero hours in the question many question in the basic question itself we can able to see it a car covers a total distance of this much distance in four point five zero hours so which means many students usually take this as four hours 50 minutes but actually it is wrong right it is not 4 hours 50 minutes it's 4 hours 30 minutes right so never make mistake on all these areas because in the first video of time and distance topic introduction of time and distance topic I have told you each and every concept clearly right because that is the basics of time and distance we don't have any formulas except speed equal to distance by time I, I, I will say this is also not a formula it's a basic right so speed how we calculate is distance by time by but when you take speed separately distance separately time separately we have many concepts right so do not forget to watch the introduction video of time and distance again and then basically a very basic question in many prelims exam on the bank exams i'm saying many questions on time and distance topic which is related to reduced by reduced to two reduced by reduced to many times i have seen this word question on the bank prelims exam a car is running at 60 kilometer per hour let me consider like this car is running at 60 km per hour so car speed is 60 right so now this has been reduced by 20 km per hour now at what is the speed of the car now right so just see here 60 km per hour is the actual car speed and now the car speed is reduced by 20 that means so now after reducing by 20 so car will be running 40 km per hour right so 60 minus 20 40 km per hour so similarly reduced to 2 if they have given a word like this a car is running at 60 km per hour and now the speed reduced to 2, 20 km per hour that means from 60 km per hour car speed so now the car speed is reduced to 220 so now the car speed will be 20 km per hour not 40 km per hour right so that is the difference if it is by you have to subtract these two and then now this will be the car speed if it is 2 it has been converted to 20 km so you should not subtract this you should directly write this number so now the car speed is 20 km per hour so never forget this this reduced by and reduced to 2 you can able to see on more areas not only in time and distance even in profit and loss also the price has been reduced to 2 the percentage profit has been reduced to 2 right so reduced by and reduced to 2 is most important on the complete quantitative aptitude session right so uh, and then when you take the when you take the basics of time and distance there are two concepts that are important one is usual time usual time late so late and usual it's most important most of the questions you can able to see in the concept of time and distance that is based on usual and late for example a boy going to a school 20 minutes late on the next day again he is going to the school with 15 minutes early so based upon that we have to find what is the distance between a uh, home and the school right so for those areas we have a formula but while i'm teaching on the topic in this four video i think third video is based on first video is introduction second video is a basic question third video is the usual speed late and early so there i have solved a question by using a formula method as well as by a traditional method so there also i have told you traditional method will always help you to solve most of the difficult question why because in this usual and late they can give you varieties of concepts question so at that area if you learn only the formula solving a question you can't able to solve every question but if you understand that concept how to find the difference then solving even though the question is difficult you can easily crack it right so usual time and the late time and then the next concept is chasing right so chasing is the another most important concept in time and distance so chasing is like a policeman will be chasing a thief first they will give you some distance 
So policeman is standing here and the thief will be behind him. So 100 meters away. It, a policeman and a thief, the total distance will be 100 meters. So now a policeman started chasing the thief and the thief was also running in the direction. So both the person are running in the same direction. So the thief speed will be little bit low and the police speed will be little bit high. So definitely at some point of time, police will be catching the thief. So our target is to find at what time the police will be catching the thief or else at what time or else at what distance at what distance the police catch the thief. So these kind of questions are most important in the time and distance. When you take your books and see most of the previous year bank exam question you can able to see on the concept either usual time or late time or else chasing concept not only police and the thief it is based on two cars or two cycle so one cycle is behind another cycle which is 100 meters away so now at, at what time both the cycle will be uh, moving on the same distance or else at what time cycle one crosses the cycle two so these kind of questions every question you can able to solve by using this method and in this chasing also, I have solved a question by a shortcut method that is by a formula method as well as by a traditional method. So learn both, right? So learning both will always help you to solve even if it's an easy or a difficult question. Right? So that, that's the thing. Initially, I have told in the first four videos of time and distance. Right? So if you have time, do not forget to watch all the four videos first. And then second is the boats and streams. So when you take boats and streams, again, all the basics will be same as what we learnt in time and distance. Because speed will be same, distance will be same, time will be same, everything will be same. But one new concept that we will be learning on the topic boats and streams is upstream and downstream. Right? Against the stream, towards the stream. Against the stream means if, if the boat is moving against the stream, then the boat speed will be low. Because the water speed will be there, boat speed will be there. So when both are colliding each other, then definitely the boat speed might be reduced in order to move, move forward. So at that time, we subtract it. And if the, if the boat is coming towards the shore, then the boats will, boat speed will be something. The water will also push the boat. So that both the speed we need to add. Yeah, that is most important here which is in the topic boats and streams so when you take boats and streams i can list all the videos what i have posted so initially introduction about boats and streams so what is called as upstream what is called as downstream and when you need to add when you need to subtract so all those things i have initially told you on the first video and second video questions that i have solved based on upstream and downstream and then two equation video that is most important because those Questions are mostly asked on the bank exam, two equation video and then twice and thrice. A boat uh, speed is twice the uh, speed of the stream or else thrice the speed of the stream or still water. So those kind of questions are important. So do not forget to watch all the four videos on the topic boats and the streams, right? So if you learn time and distance, you don't want to spend more number of time on learning boats and streams. Why? Because 80 percentage of the concepts will be same. Only the last 20 percentage of the concept you have to understand what is called as upstream and what is called as downstream. That's it. Right. So now the last will be races. So races is very important for the prelims as well as for the mains. Right. So prelims and the mains. For both, it is important. Why? Because when you take SBI PO or IBBS PO mains question papers, RRB PO and RBA, even RBA. So when you take all the mains question papers, memory based question papers, you can able to see more number of questions that is on the topic time and distance is asked only from the area that is races and the games. So I think totally I have posted six videos. So very interesting concept because it will be based on two person running, three person running. They are running in a circular track. It's just like a Olympic Games, right? For example, Olympic running games. It will be 1500 meters or it can be a relay. So first person will be running 500 meters and then second 500 meter, third 500 meter, fourth 500 meter. And then who will be winning there or else when will the first person crossing the second person? So very interesting question, chasing related concepts. 
so more concepts it is based on a race is very interesting too but do not forget to watch the first video because first video in the introduction i've told many notes right so note 1 note 2 note 3 etc because to understand the basics of a race is first person is crossing the second person by 200 meters so you have to understand that if the first person is crossing or the, if the first person is chasing so what is the exact meaning of it the distance and time everything will be given there so you have to be very careful on this areas right in the introduction areas so if you are strong on introduction then just like that you can solve most of the question and the topic races right so that's it about time and distance so in the next video we will be solving questions that is based on time and distance but before that i just want to tell you like first time learning do not learn time and distance if you have only a limited number of time for the exam but if you have more number of time for example you have three months four months for the bank exam then you can surely learn time and distance but if you are only 10 days of time now only you are going to start learning this time and distance kindly don't do that because of vast syllabus right i'm i'm it's your wish but According to me, I would suggest not to learn it now, right? And if you are already preparing for a bank exams, kindly make sure to watch all these races video, right? Because just now I have told you in the mains exam, we have seen many questions that is related to races. So do not forget to watch all the races video. So, yes, other than that, okay. So I think it is enough for this video. So make sure to watch all the videos before i'm posting the next video next video i will be solving some question and then i will be giving you a test so do not forget to watch all the previous videos revision videos as well as in-depth solution video so you can buy the test and start practicing it i've posted many questions inside it so start practicing the test series what i've given on the package so friends thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it share the videos to your friends those who are preparing for the competitive exams so thank you so much bye